press conference, which saw the private crime fighter act revoked. The mayor has since clarified that not only will formally endorsed private crime fighters not be paid, but it will actually constitute vigilantism. That's right, anti-vigilantism laws are back in effect, meaning that any private crime fighters that decide to become, say, pro bono crime fighters will actually be seen as criminals in the eyes of the law. And I think that's fair enough, isn't it? After what Dr. Justice was responsible for, how can we trust any private crime fighter? One fighters? bad egg, Tim, one bad egg. We've all heard stories of police brutality, incompetence, corruption. Are you suggesting we disband the whole police department as I'm well? I'm suggesting that maybe it's a good thing that anybody and their grandmother can't just put on a costume and declare themselves upholders of the law. The law was made by everyone and their grandmother. It was made for the people. Why shouldn't the people be the ones The people with forced? training. Specific, prescribed training, not their own home brew. I say it's a good thing to have them outlawed. Well, take the Batman, for example. He hasn't formally stated that he's stepping down. If he really wants to continue fighting crime, why shouldn't he be able to? All my work and preparation to become a private crime fighter... Wasted. What am I supposed to do with my skills and training, now that private crime fighter is an outlawed profession? What would my father, the surgeon, say if he were still here to guide me today? So, to fix his arm, we actually have to break it again before we can set the bone correctly. But, father, doesn't it scare you, having to hurt somebody to make them better? I'm not sure I could do that. Ah, my boy, you're thinking about this all wrong. Sometimes you have to break something before you can fix it. A rule, or a system, or, yes, a bone. But you have to understand that these things are already broken. And it's our responsibility to fix them. Even if it means doing something that would usually be bad, like breaking a rule, or a bone. I just have to look at it from that perspective, and it really doesn't bother me at all anymore. What perspective? Breaking rules? Do you mean you're thinking like a criminal? No, 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 no. You don't get it, son. This isn't an operating table. It's a mud hole. And I'm the vigilante. The entire eastern wing of Arkham has been rocked by what appears to be a break-in. We don't have all the details for you yet, but the police are struggling to contain what may be a second massive super-criminal escape in as many months. This coming after many assurances that Arkham was an impenetrable bunker to offload all the nation's super criminals into, and residents of the city are beginning to wonder just how safe they really are. Yes, father. I shall become a vigilante. Like a cyclone, wild and extreme, I got my mind blown. Stuck in a dream, waking up without a clue. Cause baby, it's just you. They weren't kidding about the scale of the break-in. But who could be responsible for something like this? Wait, don't! Ugh. Sorry, buddy, but I have orders to take care of you. Orders that come straight from... What the... Why do I have two shadows? And one with horns? Is that my shoulder devil? But where's my shoulder angel? My life a crime? Is it because I was born without a shoulder angel? Have you been tempting me down the wrong path on a post this whole time? Did I ever really have a choice? What do you think, Batman? <laughs> Warden. What's the situation? Actually, that was the warden. I'm a criminal! Stop. You are not a criminal. You are the warden of Arkham Asylum. No. I... yes. But... Batman... The warden of Arkham Asylum would be liable for this massive security breach. And he would never be hired anywhere ever again. Come on. Thanks for saving me from the warden. I'm a criminal, and he was trying to put me in a cell where I would be free from responsibility. Oh no, Batman, are you going to put me in a cell? I recognize you. We've met before. Are you going to put me in a cell? Batman? Batman, put me in a cell! Batman! 
So many officers and security guards dead. Or pretending to be. So that they don't have to take responsibility for the prison break. Oh no, he's onto us. Dude, shut up. Whoever did this has left a trail of well-dressed bodies. And people pretending to be. <laughs> That's the Omega Frog. My nemesis. So he's the one responsible for this prison break-in. But who's that he just set free? Alright, now this guy has got to be the warden. I'm not! He is not. Listen, one of you has got to be the warden. It wasn't that guy that the Omega Frog just bounced. It wasn't any of the others. It has to be you. Okay, Omega Frog, let's just assume this one's the warden. Come on. I've got some complaints I'd like to pay your back for. Or, I mean, pay someone back for. I really hope that it's you. The Omega Frog has entered some kind of partnership with another super criminal. I don't recognize him. He must be a new local super criminal. The city hasn't had one of those since before they started using Arkham. Do you like my new costume? It cost a pretty penny to get it made and delivered into Arkham. But I'd say it was worth it. I'm sure you recognize this chamber behind me, Warden. You sure got a lot of use out of it this past month. Guys, I'm seriously not the Warden. Actually, I'm pretty sure that goon of yours back there is the Warden. If anyone's the Warden, it's He's him. He's not... <sighs> Alright, whatever. Throw him in the chamber. If we just kill them all, then we'll be alright and we'll have got... No! Wait! Wait! No! Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> doesn't feel good. Has anyone here actually seen the Warden in person? Can we confirm if this is him? No? Nobody? Well, whatever. One of them was right. Let's get out of here. Just to be safe. Damn it, Omega Frog. How many people dressed kind of like a Warden might be have to die? I just really wanted this escape to be more triumphant, you know? I get it. Anyway, ten million dollars, all yours. I'll wire it to you as soon as I have it. Good? Good. Omega Frog. I hoped I'd seen the last of you. I'm putting you back in Arkham. You'll have to catch me first. Whoa, <laughs> Batman, stop <laughs> running at me! Stop! Stop! stop. stop. No! No! <laughs> You're finished, Omega Frog. You think defeating me is gonna die? You think defeating me is gonna change anything for you? You're still a girl. You think defeating me is gonna change anything for you? You're still a criminal now. <laughs> we might even share a cell tomorrow. <laughs> You think defeating me is Who is your change. partner? Where is he going? You think that was- uh, You think that was my partner? He was just- uh, You think that was my partner? He was just an old buddy from Ruby City. An old buddy? The Beta Frog. Call him what you like, but you're finished now that he's free. You had better turn yourself in. Because if you don't, then he's going to... Uh. He's unconscious. Stop! Lieutenant Gordon of the police force, you're under arrest. Gordon, why are you arresting yourself? I'm arresting him. The Omega Frog. I'm arresting you, Batman. You're not going to arrest the Omega Frog? I'll be arresting two people, the two criminals. The Omega Frog and Officer Ralph. The Omega Frog and Bat- Officer Ralphie isn't a criminal. Sure he is. You, you take bribes, don't you, Ralphie? Yeah, I take bribes. I will be arresting three people. Who's the third? Batman! How are you going to find him? What are you talking about? He's right- Are you still gonna arrest the other two? Or was it kind of an all or nothing thing? Shut up, Ralphie. I can give you a bribe. Shut up, Ralphie.
I have no information on where the beta frog might be. Until he resurfaces, I should occupy myself by rounding up the other gang members and super criminals that escaped in the chaos of the break-in. Some real monsters that just arrived here from out of town. Break it down and bust a move, Batman! Now, now, now. Why don't you say that to me again? You, you're never going to be a super criminal. You're just, uh, just a mob boss. Your gimmick sucks. Ah, so you don't like the umbrella theme? All right, then let's try a new one. How about the cow prod? Are you doing market testing right now? Ugh, the market tester. I do like the sound of that. But let's explore this cattle prod a bit more first. <laughs> Yay, this is fun. <gasps> what the? You're Batman! Nice to meet me, Batman. Ugh. You're under arrest. Oh, it sucks to meet you. You're only saying that because you're under arrest. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Wait, wait, wait. At least let me introduce myself. My name is Catman. Bad choice. It's short for cattle prod. Well, the first half of the name is anyway. The second half is unrelated. The second half is because you're a man. Bit reductive, but that's part of it. I'm a super criminal. A new one. Like all the ones on TV. Do you have any special skills? Or equipment? Or powers? Or intelligence? Yes, yes, the equipment one. Cattle prod. I don't have time for this. I will take you at your word. No, the police took away my cattle prod. With the way my police relations are at the moment, I can't just deliver criminals to them like I normally would. I'll have to leave them all tied up somewhere and tell the police about it so they can be picked up. I pause briefly for an endurance test. A night like this, with so many threats loose in the city, I need to be more on my A-game than ever before. Let's see if I can find some kind of button or hollow space in the wall. Hollow, 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 oh hang on. The final super criminal I recaptured was among the most dastardly. The waiter. Before I can turn him in, I'll need to pick up some more rope from the Batcave. Because I ran out of rope. Okay, waiter. Let's go tie you up and drop you off somewhere now. I wouldn't turn me in just yet if I were you, Batman. Yeah, obviously. Why would you do that if you were me? Or should I say... Malcolm Kennedy? Hmm. If you hand me over to the police, I'm going to tell everyone who you are. And now that you're a wanted man too, the police will come for your operation and shut you down. My name is not Malcolm. Ah, bad guess. Would have been pretty great if it was though, wouldn't it? You would have been freaking out. Okay. Anyway, I might not know your identity, but I do know where your headquarters are now. And I'll totally tell the police that if you turn me in. And then you'll be shut down. I understand. Wait, what? Where are you going? To deal with the night super criminals. I will turn you in and move my headquarters once I am finished. What? You're just going to leave me here? You cannot escape my bat cave without my biometrics. Nor can you access anything or use any of my tools. You will wait here. Well, oi! No, let me free instead! Oi! Having to move my new bat cave is a shame. I was rather glad to have it all shaping together. But such is life. I haven't heard anything about the beta frog in the few hours since his escape. I should see if the police have any information that I'm missing. Unfortunately, I can't rely on them to help willingly. Neither me, nor the citizens of this city. The police force has become more and more corrupt lately. Unreliable. The city's dependence on them as the only defense against the super criminals has led to some officers demanding extra cash. Not from their paychecks, 
but from the citizens they're supposed to protect, and the super criminals they're supposed to capture. Extra pay to do their jobs, and extra pay to not, offering their service, or lack thereof, to the highest bidder. You can't rely on them. All you can do is bounce them. Time to see what I can find out. Alright, so the law says we have to bring the Batman in. In case we end up doing that this time, what do we know about this guy? They were talking about me. He's got his own plane. Okay, that's good. That's one thing so far. We're making good time here. Do we know where he keeps it? This could be my chance to throw them off my trail. No. That's a shame. Also, his name is Bat-Nam, not Batman. So, when we're adding things to the database, make sure to enter it in under Bat-Nam. Sounds like a plan. Meeting adjourned. That's a picture of that police lieutenant. Lieutenant Gordon. He's new to the city. What's he doing on a police dartboard? Hmm. It seems that Gordon is not well liked by his colleagues. That either means he's a clean cop or annoying. Hey, don't worry so much. Once the LT's out of the picture, nobody on the force is gonna try to recapture you. Gordon seems untouchable, but he's got one weakness. He threw his shoulder out earlier today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, use that. Okay, sure. Yeah, bye. Congrats again on the breakout. Recapture. Breakout. It sounded like that call might have been to the Beta Frog. I can use the phone to trace his location. I got what I needed. Batman, this is the waiter. What is it, waiter? Do you have any TV down here in the Batcave? I'm very bored. Look! It's Batnam! Hmm. Tall building. What the? It's you! <laughs> All you did for this city, and now look at you. I guess what they say is true. You either die a hero, or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I aim to die a hero, of natural causes, at 94 years old. If that were true, you'd turn yourself in- Oh, wow, you, you fixed my shoulder. Thank you, Batman, I threw that out earlier. But I'm not letting you off that easy. You're a wanted man. Then stop making me feel unwanted. He went this way! Gordon, move out of the way! No, we don't need to shoot him. We can bring him in quietly. Gordon, move so we can shoot Bat now! <laughs> what? Ah, oh, my shoulder again! I'm sorry, Gordon, but the system is broken, and to fix it, I have to break its rules until the city is a safe place again. Batman, this is the waiter again. Hi. Is something wrong? Yeah, no, I just wanted to check in, uh, we'll see if you have any updates, because I would like to know something about what is happening outside of this cave. You are misusing my Batcave communication systems. If you continue to do this, I will have okay. to- this isn't going anywhere, I'm just going to hang up. The Beta Frog's phone traces to this bank. He must be trying to secure the money for the Omega Frog. These people were already unconscious and on the ground before I blew up the wall. You. 
you're the one the Omega Frog destroyed half of Arkham to break free. I sure am! Would you say that's... Nemesis material? I already have a Nemesis. The Omega Frog. The Omega Frog? <laughs> I don't know if you realize it, but I was giving him orders earlier today. He's like my employee. <laughs> Would you? She's been doing this the whole time, Batman. She keeps laughing no matter what I do. Look! <laughs> it's not you. I, I just heard a funny joke earlier today. Okay, well, keep it down. I'm trying to do something. I'm going to get you out of here safely. Don't provoke the beta frog. What? What? The beta frog? No! Look at me! Give me a different name! I worked hard on this look! You're wearing an ordinary white suit. Well, yes, that was the easy part, but I brainstormed this helmet mask thing for ages. One of my guys thought I was taking too long and said I should just do a burlap sack on my head. Can you believe it? A burlap sack. Here, look, I made him wear it for comparison. It's not as good, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, variable carrot. I should have trusted the process. Variable carrot. Oh, great. Great job, sack suggester. Couldn't <coughs> you <coughs> just <coughs> call me Pizza <coughs> <Beta> Frog? <coughs> <laughs> sorry, it's not you. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, I don't want the sack suggester in the group anymore. Take him away. Yes, Batman, it's me. The variable carrot. But why? Because you won't admit that I'm your nemesis, and you're stubborn about it. I thought maybe I could become your nemesis with a new identity and then do a big reveal after I got you. <laughs> It's becoming irritating. Control yourself. I know a lot about you, Batman. I know what your costume looks like. I know what your favorite animal is. I even know things about you that you don't know yourself. I know where your nemesis the variable carrot lives. I know what your nemesis the variable carrot's next big plan is going to be. I even know what your nemesis the variable carrot's had for breakfast today. So why don't I tell you something about me for once? You wanna know how I got run over by a bus? Okay. My father used to make me ride a bicycle to school. Mm -hmm. One day I left home and I was hangry because other kids got to walk or take the bus. And then, and then the school bus hit me. I didn't even see it. My father made me an outcast, and I've been getting hit by buses ever since. I'll see you later, Batman. I've got big plans! Hello again. Hello! I need to access the bat computer, which is why I came back. Cool! Okay. Been a few hours down here. No books. The variable carrot wasn't expecting me, and he doesn't know I can still track his phone. I can follow him to wherever he was planning to enact his real plan before it even begins. This is definitely the place. I only wonder what nefarious things he's up to. And then the guy actually- What? Who are you? Hello. Can you turn that jetpack off? We're indoors. It's carpeted. No, I can't. How do I find Batman? I don't know. Go do a crime. He'll find you. Thank you. So anyway, Bane, then he actually just called me the Variable Carrot in front of Batman. Variable Carrot, you need to sit down. Your legs will get tired. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, right. My legs never get tired. Hey, Batman, it's the waiter again. Um, so... Listen, I'm sorry about the crimes I did. I've been thinking about it. I don't think I would do anything like that again, actually. I think I'm reformed now. So... 
what do you think about that? Okay, well, um, think it over. Maybe get back to me when you... Uh, actually, just get back to me now, physically. Physically get back to me. Oh, Batman! You're here early. I haven't prepared any... Uh, all right. You want to know how I got run over by a bus? So, I had a friend, very important to me, like you, who tells me I worry too much. Who tells me I ought to get out into the world some more. But then, as I'm getting out into the world, you get I get run, run over, over by, a, by bus. a bus. What? I said you get run over yes, by Yes, I got run over by a... Sorry, I think there's a delay on the feed. We keep speaking over each other. I'm coming up to get you but variables. Yes, so cards. I get run over by a... I know you got run over by oh, a... Oh, I'll be ready. And I hope you are too, because... The elevator is the only way up to the penthouse. But if I hide in here, the variable carrot will never see it coming. Ow. Oh, I see you've met Bane. He's a growing boy, you know, and he always eats his greens. Hold on, Bane. I need to make him my nemesis, remember? If you kill him, no more carrot juice for you. Call it steroids or something like normal person. Thank you, Bane. So, Batman, I may have been exaggerating our relationship earlier. The truth is, I hardly know anything about you. Like, do you have a family I can threaten to harm? I don't even know that. Tell me about your family, Batman. No. Then let me guess. You're just like me. All alone in the world. Nobody who cares for you, who gives you attention. Except for me. You're the focus of my life, and that makes me the focus of yours. That's why we make the perfect... I, Batman? Batman, are you texting right now? Sorry, I'm still listening. Oh, come on, Batman. It's my husband. I have to take this. You're married? No. Batman? I like to keep my work separate. Go back to what you were saying. But, well, now I feel like it's dumb. Go on. I... All right. Uh, nobody cares for your, uh, when it comes to your work, nobody cares for you and you're all alone except for me. Okay, there. Okay, so, <clears throat> the world has never been kind to people like me, the outcasts. Did you know that you can bite off your finger with the same amount of force it takes to bite through a carrot but your brain won't let you? Because you see the finger as a part of your group. But the carrot? You can just bite that thing in half, not a care in the world, because it won't affect your life. Nobody cares when they bite something in half, so long as it's not a part of their little club. You're wrong. Oh? How so? That's a myth. What? You can't bite through a finger as easily as you can bite through a carrot. And your brain doesn't stop you from biting through your finger. Somebody made it up for a joke, because how is somebody going to prove them wrong? Biting off one of their own fingers? No. It's not true in the slightest. Okay, well the metaphor is still- You're really taking the wind out of my sails today, Batman. I was just trying to share a fun fact with you. You were sharing a fun lie. I'm a super criminal. It's what I do. You believed it. Nobody is safe from my super crimes. Not even me. Ah! Okay, okay, time out. Bane! Rawr. Do not get between me and my steroids. I've outsourced the fighting part of the gig, Batman. So, if you want to do that bit now, fight Bane, and then get back to me when you're done. This is the police. Come out with your wallets up and start bidding, or we will open fire. Don't interrupt my fight with Batman! 
I think we should go before more police come, Garrett. I don't want to waste our stolen money in a beating war. Wait, Bane, we can't leave yet! That room has all of our plans in it! They'll learn everything! I will take care of it. Oh, Bane. My nemesis! Wait, no. Let me drop like you hate me! Ow! Okay, it's a good step. Whoa! Okay, Batman. Good fight that we just had. But I think I came out on top. Still, if one of us dies, no more fights. And I want lots of fights. Do you? Hang on, let me check. Ow! <laughs> you do! Batman, step away from the variable carrot. Wait, that's too far away. So, he got away, huh? What's with the weird limp arm swinging? Yes, just shoulder. Uh, say, isn't there anything we can do about all of this? I mean, do you really have to put me away again? What's your name? Let's talk about this. Yeah, maybe we can talk about this. And the name's Officer Ralphie. Hey, Batman, it's the waiter. Uh, do you know what I'm doing right now? I'm waiting for anything. I mean... That should be most of the night's troubles dealt with. I am the hot air balloon! Face me, Batman! The hot air balloon? He's a super criminal that operates out of Vegas. What's he doing here? Blowing up cars and setting the bridge on fire. I stop those kinds of things. Looks like the night isn't over yet. But that detonator he's holding is worrisome. It looks like there's a small contingent of police officers inside one of the bridge's towers. I'll see if they'd be willing to help me. The hot air balloon must have tied up these SWAT officers. Okay, I'm going to let you free. I'm going to throw a punch at you. I'm going to counter it. I'm going to be knocked out. Hmm. Ready when you are. Are you sure? Yes. You don't have to throw a punch at me. You don't have to counter it. Yes, I do. I will have to do that or I will be punched. Well, I have to try to punch you or I'll be forced to help fight that scary super criminal after you untie me. And I don't want to do that. Fine, untie me. I'll help. All right. Ah! Gordon, you're a good cop. Listen to what I have to say. You're lucky my shoulder is still acting up, Batman. I can't hold this pistol up for too long. I need your help in defeating the hot air balloon. If you can try to find the bombs his detonator is linked to, I can keep him from pressing it long enough for you to disarm it. The Batman is in the bridge tower. I need a team of officers on me. Who? The Batman. Oh, you mean the Batman. You can trust me, Lieutenant. You want my trust? Take off your mask. I will. Not now, but later. In front of me? No, I can't rely on Gordon's help. Instead, I'll have to face him myself and hope I can stop him from using that detonator. Hot air balloon. Batman, you don't have wings. No. And you don't have balloons. Well, I used to. Upgraded to a jetpack. Cut the name! Well, why don't you make like a helium balloon and get put on a string? Huh! How do you like my jetpack, Batman? Much more efficient than my old balloon system. I have no problems with this new system either. I'm completely happy with it. What are you doing here, hot air balloon? I will be honest with you, Batman, since you asked politely. I... I have a solar-powered jetpack, and one day of sunlight's charge lasts like 30 hours. I've been flying for two months straight, 
and I cannot reach the off button on my back. Okay. I heard there was a guy named Batman, and I thought, hey, there's a guy who can fly up and hit the button for me. But you can't fly. No. Explain that to me. I am a man. Me too. I am a man sans jetpack. Oh, I get it now. Well, this was a bust. I'll just blow it all up and go somewhere else. No! Huh? What the hell? This balloon's floating upside down. That's weird. Officer Ralphie, didn't I arrest you? Yeah, but I just bribed the guy that was putting me away. I already made the money back, too. Come on, I want to see if it'll float the right way up as well. Man, there are like no good police officers in this city. There's one. You disarmed the bomb. Well, I wasn't gonna let a criminal win. And I'm still looking at one more. I suppose you are, but with the hot air balloon arrested, that should be the night's work finished now, Gordon. Yeah, I suppose so, Batman. I'll have to bring you in some other time. What the... what happened to my Batcave? Waiter? Waiter! Waiter, where are you? Batman! Batman, help! I'm down here! What are you doing down there? Waiter... I... I was destroying the Batcave because I was mad at you and I slipped. I fell down here and I got stuck under some rubble. Batman, are you going to let me go now? Variable carrot was not processed into Arkham properly. He has broken free and appears to have, for the second time, taken over the facility. This just hours after his delivery to the site raises some serious questions about Arkham's security and the competence of our police officers. I have to go. Batman, are you still going to tie me up for the police later, or will you let me go to make up for the rubble that landed on me from your cave? Okay. The variable carrot will pay for this. Just like he probably paid to be not arrested. Except the price will be much higher. And non-monetary. Batman! Thank God you're here! Officers? You can stop him, right? You can beat the variable carrot? I can. Well, we're right behind you, Batnam. Go on and do your thing. Hmm. They aren't treating me like a vigilante anymore. They're treating me like a private crime fighter. Hello, everybody! Guess who I found? The real warden! <laughs> All of you criminals! You wanna know how I got run over by a bus? Yeah! Oh, and look who it is! Just in time for the story, Batman. It's about how I got run over by a bus. See, there were these two guys in a lunatic asylum. I don't understand your game, Variable Carrot. Which of these bus stories is the truth? No, it's, it's all separate incidents. They all happened. It was really bad luck. I'm just trying to vent about my bus trauma, Batman. Don't bother. All right, Batman, so here's the deal. I don't feel like you understand me. I mean, all this trouble I'm going to and you still won't call me your nemesis. Look at this guy. I'm probably the worst part of his life. Why can't you let me be the worst part of yours? This month I lost my job, my job was outlawed, and tonight I have been hunted by the police force and labeled a criminal for trying to help protect this city. Okay, sure, so I've got my work cut out for me a bit. But you can't be nemeses with a whole police force, and I'm the one you're trying to protect the city from. Without me, no problems. Here, look, at the end of the day, you just don't understand me yet. So I figure, 
Why not run you over with a bus? Oh, Bane! This is Bane, the Bane train. You've met. He will be your bus today. Hello again, Batman. You are unemployed. Loser. Bane, don't taunt him. We need him to be angry with me. Batman, it is okay that you are unemployed. You will bounce back. Thanks, Bane. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to sit in this electric chair because it's the only chair I could find in this part of the penitentiary. But I didn't have the time to figure out how to disconnect it, so tried to keep this fight short and sweet. This chair could go off at any moment. Stand up. No, my legs are killing me. It's been a big day. The chair is killing you. Not if you hurry up and get run over already. Get to it. Seriously, under two minute fight, please. You probably noticed the wall-mounted heart monitors. That's a polygraph I pulled from the interrogation wing. I'm going to be monitoring your vitals so I can tell if you're lying when I ask you if I'm your nemesis or not. Hey Batman, am I your nemesis yet? Mm. It only works, you have to say yes or no. The polygraph, actually we have to calibrate it with some, do you mind saying one true statement and one false statement, Batman? Okay, so yes or no, is your name Batman? Yes. Got it. Well, oh, well, name is a bit... We'll, we'll consider that a true anyway. Now the lie. Can you bite off your finger as easily as you can bite through a carrot? Yes. Thank you. That's perfect. We're all good to go now. Calibrate. It is over, Batman. Freeze! Gordon. Thanks for saving a criminal like me, Gordon. You shouldn't have strapped yourself into that chair, Variable Carrot. Bad tactical move. Well, it sure was easy to take that gun from you. Almost like you threw out your shoulder or something. <laughs> Batman, say he is your nemesis. He will give me many steroids if the polygraph reads it as true. <laughs> He is not my nemesis. Oh good, look at that. The walls say you flatlined and died, Batman. Your electric gloves must have overloaded the polygraph. Now we'll never know if I'm your nemesis or not. I'm not. Yeah, never gonna know, so still up in the air. It should reboot in a minute or two if we want to just wait. Alright, bored waiting. And you beat my designated muscle, so I'm going to run away as far as I can. Oh, but first let me finally kill the warden. Don't do it, variable carrot. Would I be your nemesis if I did no. it? No. Oh. Well, this one's just for me then. Goodbye, real warden. No! Oh, you fixed my shoulder. Ah. Well, bulletproof vest, that figures. Ciao! Gordon, are you all right? Yeah, I'm I'm great actually. That was perfect. And what about us? Are we all right? Yeah, Batman. We are. No matter what the law says today, you're more trustworthy than any of the officers I work with. I mean, a lot of them are corrupt and the rest are just incompetent. The whole police file on you is ruined cuz half the documents are filed under Batnam. In my eyes, you're a private crime fighter. Go take down the variable carrot for me. <laughs> oh, hello, Batman. As I told you before, my legs are just... I thought I would get farther away from you before they gave out. All right, so hello. You are unfit. Be quiet, Batman. You don't even know. It was a crazy day. Mine was crazier. Oh yeah, did you have to run away from a bus? Hmm? It was coming right for me. You'd be tired too if you had to outrun a bus. It was how I transported my goons in the bus. The bus driver was following me from a constant distance. But you don't know how scary a bus following me can be for me, Batman. 
So, am I your nemesis yet? Yes, sure. Now stop with all of these schemes. I am? Wait. You're lying! Why can't you just, just let me? What's it going to take? I'm a bad boy! But you only seem interested in nice guys. Oh no, the police are after me. Where? I don't owe you a nemesis relationship. Really? Really? Because I put a lot of work into making tonight awful for you. Ah! Ugh! Ooh! Alright, a bit of roughhousing. Good way to end the day. Come on, hit me. HIT ME! You don't get it, son. This isn't a chapel. It's an operating table. And I'm the surgeon. And you're the patient. And my arms are the scalpel. And the procedure is to break your bone. And the air is the anesthetic. And air has no anesthetic properties. You all finished in here? I am. I think after tonight, the city will have to rethink revoking the Private Crime Fighter Act. Look where anti-vigilantism laws nearly got us. Your shoulder, is it still holding up? It is. Look how long I can hold my gun up for now. It's no strain at all. But I think I might have actually thrown out my left shoulder now. Do you think you could maybe take a look? He's gone. I get it now. By denying that he's my nemesis, he's making my life miserable. Just like a nemesis would. Oh, thank you, Batman. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of each other. <laughs> like a train wreck. Jump on the track or a car deck Missing a jack What's the queen of hearts to do? All right, waiter. It's time to deliver you to... Waiter? 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 He escaped.